Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, Farm Sim D. So we're in episode 79, and this episode, well, <laughs> I've got a few problems. Previous episode, we used our cedar, which was phenomenal. So the problem that we've got is we are running out of sugar. Now the problem is we don't have any sugar beet left. As you can see here, the sugar, there's none, so I can't start this plant up. And if we go to where our sugar is, uh, right here, nothing. So I've decided, this is what I've decided. We are going to be purchasing field 38. This entire field we're going to turn into a sugar cane field. A lot of people will tell me, but farm some why don't you go for sugar beet um we've done sugar beet well that tractor is busy rolling away he's rolling the fields i see that this field up ahead which has got the sunflower in this one that i made a mistake on the previous episode let me show you it needs to be plowed Okay, there it shows needs plowing so yeah pretty soon we're gonna plow out after harvest we'll plow out that whole field so we've purchased a field again which I'm gonna change um, into a sugar cane field this field here which I'm on now field 37 this field here you'll see what I'm gonna do with that field so let's unfold this. I just want to get the width ready here. So I've got a plan. I don't want to go too wide into the field like I did with all the other fields. I just want to use this field here as a line marker basically. Uh, yeah, if we can... Let me just back it up and come in straight because I'm not 100% certain that I am straight. It should be. Okay, so here is where the field starts. Like right here. Let's lower that down, see where it starts. Okay, that should be okay, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's just go with it. Hopefully we won't roll over to the right too far. Just like that. Um, what I can do is I can potentially try to nail this in a time lapse. Um, cultivate it. Get everything ready. This is what I always fear and which I don't like. Especially with these big plows. It's so difficult to control the plows. Okay, I went over a little bit to the right again. Well, that's fine. Let's just go with it as it is. I just want to mark this field out. Once we've marked it, then I will do the cultivation, liming, and the soil samples in a time lapse. Just so that we can ensure that we are in the green let's just check how far from the border we are i don't want to go into the border too much it creates hassles as you all know uh yeah the top i went onto the border well what was that now i think that's borderline cutting it I had a weird noise in here now and I don't know what it was. <laughs> Just to get this lined up is always the... Didn't it update yet? No. Because I'm just going to roll with it. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, see the problem is I can't see on the border where I am yeah that's good okay so I'm gonna keep going on this borderline that we are on now 
just to mark this out so this entire field we're going to change into a sugarcane field um, I will be purchasing a sugarcane harvester so that we've got it on hand yeah that will be the best thing to do so once I've got this field edged out then we can take it from there I just want to get this right hopefully I won't make a big mess of it I've had it a few times where I messed up badly um, yeah so we need to purchase a sugar cane or a sugar beet planter I don't know if our two planter the plant or the seed they can plant sugar cane can or can't <laughs> Well, we're almost there. Then the rest I'm going to nail in a time lapse just to get this edged out. Make it look nice and dandy, baby. Well, that's pretty close to the borderline, I think. Uh, we'll have to lift it up and turn it and wait for it to refresh. Well, it looks damn close if I line it up with that field down there. I don't want to go over the border too much because then you've got problems with the worker turning around. And I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully it's straight. Once we see it update in the minimap. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're on the border here. Excellent call come a little bit back to the right yeah just like that so the farm is growing at an alarming rate um, fields are being added things are happening I know the fields are quite small for now but we will expand those fields for now I just need to get everything all the necessities we need um, that's very important so what I'm going to do here now because I don't know how far the other side is in. So I'm just going to lift it up there. That's a nice sized sugarcane field. Alright. On here. Where you see me now. Travelling here. I'm going to put up a shed. Just for our sugarcane equipment. Obviously. We will create a road to that for the equipment. Everything's going to turn out very nicely. Okay, so we do own the field next to this one. But I can't go in too deep. The two fields will then merge with one another, which I don't want. So let's just get this lined up as well. Uh... Yeah, that looks more or less like it. If I line it up with that. Yeah, that should do the trick. So if we can keep it in line there, we'll be Gucci. Looking sexy. So, yeah. I veered a little bit to the right. That's not a problem. Even if it drops back a little bit, that's also fine. All I need is a field so that we can plant. Because the problem is I can't delay this. We were supposed to do the silage bales today. Um, the problem that I've got now is the sugar is running out. And let me just stop this here quickly. Let me show you. Planting time. We're in the last day of sugar cane. So I need to plant it within this episode still. I just need to run around, get things done. Um, do this in a time lapse as quick as I can prepare the field cultivate it, lime it make sure everything is up to standard the way we want it and yeah then we take it from there get cane in the ground now I've never done cane before on 22 I've done it on 19 um, which was great though it's a lot of work labor intensive but at the end of the day we can use this field for sugar beet as well. It's not a big problem. I didn't even check. Does our factory take in 
sugar cane. I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> I'm hoping so. Yeah, sugar cane. So, yeah. I'm gonna go to the top, work my way here to the bottom. Well, this is a fairly nice field. Um, I think it's gonna be golden. This is what I like. When we need to expand the other fields, we can just landscape the parts in between for roadways and stuff like that for our equipment. So that's not the biggest problem that I've got now. Biggest problem is just to get the cane in here. Yeah? Okay, so let me get this on a time lapse. I will do half of this. Oh, well, let's see how far we get, but enjoy. Okay, so we finished liming the field, cultivating the field, we've done the soil sample. So now what we need to do is we need to get our hands on a sugarcane planter. Um, I've downloaded one from the mod up, which I think is a brilliant piece of kit. Uh, I just want to dump the leftover. We just made it with lime. 669 liters left in the tank. <laughs> or in the trailer though. 
so we just 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 made it um, what we can do is I need to wash all this equipment so I'm gonna reset our current tractor to the shop we quickly purchase a unit and then we take it from there I mean yeah we're busy as you all know let's jump out here stand a bit away go into our menu and obviously it's going to save now so i need to plant and roll within this episode <laughs> it's a lot of work but at the end of the day it's going to pay off uh reset that to the shop there we go let's go see amanda quickly see what she's got in store for us sup amanda you're looking hot as always okay sugarcane technology i've looked through all of these that is a one meter a two meter planter 3.5 meter automated additional fertilizer tanks yeah let's put six thousand liters in there or oh, 600 liter tanks is that 600 uh, I'm gonna leave it with trolley book. Wow, those wheels are big. Let's go for standard two work area. What? Unrealistic with 11 meters. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's $25. Realize, yes, I'm gonna leave all the colors like that. So that's 61,325 bucks. We just purchased ourselves an unrealistic sized. sugar cane planter listen to me now i get all mumbled up in my words uh sugar cane i've done this so many years ago i can't even remember does this come in a pallet form oh, there it is wow we must buy these crates two thousand liters for a thousand oh, 380 bucks oh wow that's not so let's just see if there's something else in the shop uh no that's not what we want okay this is just all the shenanigans going on yeah so do we that is with this pallet you can refill your sugarcane planters that's what we want so one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. Okay, twenty thousand liters. Um, how much does this thing require to pull, though? Hundred and sixty horse. Okay, and our two masses. Two hundred eighty. Yeah, that will pull it. Wow! Here's our brand new sugar cane planter. Oh wow! It matches the color of the messy. Hey hey. Didn't even think of that until now. Hey, hey, I think that's brilliant. Okay, hook that up. Oh, that's refilling. Is it now? Why isn't it refilling anymore? Started refilling and then it just stopped. Don't tell me that can't be full now. Houston, we have a problem. Sorry, I know I'm caught up to the pallet there, but why can't we refill now? That can't be full. Let's go on the other side. Where do you refill this thing? Uh, deactivate unfold we don't want to unload not available for sugar cane okay wow it loaded one pallet up and then it stopped 
Let's see if I'm doing something wrong or... Well, farms them. Okay, let me get this refilled and yeah, we'll continue from there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but clearly I'm doing something wrong. Okay, let me get this refilled and we'll carry on now. So we've eventually got all the pallets in here. I really need a telehandler. The reason for that is you need to elevate the pallet or drive it over in order to load it in here. So yes, we're going to be purchasing a lot of sugarcane seeds. Um, I just need more fertilizer, I see, because that's not going to be enough. Then we're going to go check quickly how this is going to pan out, because I've never used this unit before. It's my first time while well, planting at 11 meters. That's going to be awesome. So I need to spend less money. <laughs> Because we still need to buy the sugarcane harvester, the forage harvester. Wow, our money is just dropping. Oh, I just drove past it. As you can see, we're a bit light in the front. Um, I just need the fertilizer tank, the extender tank. Come turn now, baby. Here it is. Then we can quickly get that in the ground. Wow. Okay, so that should help with some fertilizer there. Luckily, this unit takes dry fertilizer, so that's a bonus. Okay, start filling solid fertilizer there we go we're up to 3350 liters hopefully that will be sufficient if not then we'll just have to drive up and down and get more fertilizer in there well i've never used this unit before i'm pretty sure we just need to examine how large or what area it can cover for planting purposes The next selling date is in June, so yeah, we might be able to get away with it. Um, this is going to be interesting because I've never planted sugarcane like this before. <laughs> uh, it's just to miss that corner of that field. I'm pretty sure I'll remove a corner there so that we can drive through there. Put a road in there. We're going to put a road all along this field as well. Let's unfold this unit so long. I'm pretty sure it's in planting mode. Now, variable seed rate is not allowed. Activate automatic application rate. Activate. Okay, we've got it activated now. Seed rate is there. Um, I just need to see how wide 11 meters is on this car. I'm pretty sure it's going to go through. Oh, the front end is where it drops. Okay, there is what we want. Uh, yeah, I need to do the headlands first. So the front end is where it does its thing. So let's see how this goes. What is the speed of this planter? Maybe we need to bring in one of the big guns here. Uh, 12 kilometers an hour. Well, it's not doing too bad. 11 is also fine. And we are putting cane in the ground. Well, it is chomping away at our seeds. Fertilizer as well. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be using our fertilizer tender to refill this car I'm pretty sure I'll have to put oh the New Holland doesn't have anything that we can attach to the front neither as the John Deere I think our John Deere if I'm not mistaken we can't put front attachments on it
I wanted to plant into that field there. So, so far it's consuming nicely. It's not too bad. And 11 meters is not too bad either. Um, just back it up a little bit. Okay, while it's doing this row. I wonder if I mustn't quickly check our John Deere. No, we can't put attachments on there. We don't have any bigger tractor that we can put attachments on the front. No. Not at all. So unfortunately we'll have to roll with this unit. Not that it's doing a bad job. It's doing a good job. It's just spinning a lot. Well, we'll have to upgrade in the future. This is going to take some time to get done. Um, let me leave the worker at it. Does it need rolling? Yeah, it needs rolling as well. As you can see, it's planting in nice rows here. Hey, hey. It's dropping the seeds. As you can see, that orange in there, that's the seeds going in. Let me see if I can get a more beautiful angle like this. No, you can't really. Oh, there goes the cane. Oh, so it's like stalks going into the ground. Which I think is pretty amazing. While it's doing a very nice job, it's not missing anywhere. And the consumption is not that bad. I thought it's going to be worse. The consumption is actually really very good. Um, so yeah, the next time you guys see me, we'll have... Oh, when we do next episode, we're going to do silage bales for the cows. Um, and then I need to purchase a forage harvester or a sugarcane harvester. Either or, I need both. Okay, luckily, this is grass, so we can drive over this. Um, I just want to do the headlands quickly, and then I will finish the rest of screen. That's where we're going to conclude this episode well we are making it way here luckily the lime is in the ground how is our pH and lime level looking already perfect just needs to be land rolled which we will do as you can see this tractor is really spinning a lot um, it's pulling very hard It's a pity we don't have a really big tractor that has a lot of horsepower and a lot of grunt to pull it up here. Yeah? I'm sure this tractor you can't upgrade the wheels. Well, I'll go check. Maybe that will help out a lot. But it's not dragging that bad though. Okay, so that's the headlands done here. Yeah, this is going to be a big cane field. Yikes. And I've already seen a piece of equipment that I want to add in here as a sugar cane harvester, but that you will have to see when we purchase it, unfortunately. Wow, this is doing a phenomenal job, I must say. 11 meters is helping out a lot instead of 3 meters. 3 meters takes forever to plant. Trust me, I know. So I'm going to set this off on a worker. Let him finish up. And yeah, this is going to conclude this episode. If you've liked it, please do give the video a thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, please be my guest. If you want to share this video, please feel free to do so. For those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. For those who have not subscribed yet, please do click on that subscribe button. I'll really appreciate it a lot. That's it for this one. See you guys in the next episode. Cheers.